Welcome to Rodus Reviews. Today we go all the back to the 1980s, at least when it comes to the history of this very band. I'm talking about a band called Hex with double X, and this is their fourth album that we are reviewing today. So, enter right off the Reaper, let's welcome Hex. So, here it is. Hex Wrath of the Reaper is the name of the game and this one was released uh, on 15th on the September 19, uh, 2017 but this band's uh, heritage lines all back to the 1980s when this band got started somewhere in 1983. Uh, their era lasted only for less than a decade even though they were active back, back then they just kind of like you know gave up or I don't know, call it a day, and that's, that was it. And they were gone almost 20 years until they come, came back around 2013 or so. And uh, now these old school guys are back, at least some of them, because this is by no means the original lineup anymore. And a couple of original members left in the band, if I know correctly, and uh, the rest are new names. But nevertheless, this, uh, this band certainly has old school sound and this album is all about basically the trash metal Bay Area style what it used to be. But let's take a look what this uh, album looks like visually. So the back cover has a cool skeletal being uh, and a track listing obviously. This is uh, something that reminds me of Iron Maiden. I don't know about you guys but the visual really backs up the music. Inside nothing but black. CD is very, very traditional, very old school, nothing like images or anything like that. And the front cover, which is, I think is pretty cool, it's old fashioned, it's something definitely that would come, uh, could have come out already in the 80s. Inside we have this band lineup, as you can see, they are old as fuck, they know what they are doing, they are a stack of marshals background. Also, there are lyrics with some plain font here, so nothing really, I don't know, interesting here besides that. Nothing to show you anyway. So, Rather the Reaper uh, is a trash metal album with sort of uh, power and heavy metal elements into it. So it's all about screaming for, you know, times of the past, you know, 80s or maybe early 90s. It's just, you know, like a time warp when you end up to the era without cell phones, lots of hair bands and all that stuff. But unlike those um, hair bands, this one is all about chains and leather and, you know, fast guitar picking and all that stuff. Basically, it is, uh, you know, the Bay Area trash, the way it was meant to be, you know, the bands like Exodus and all that stuff. But unfortunately, Hex is kind of stuck in a time loop, especially when I'm talking about Rat of the Reaper here. The thing is, while the songs are genre wise, very uh, true to the core, to the idea of how this kind of trash heavy power mix should, you know, sound like and you know, there's nothing wrong with the vocals and all that stuff. It still seems that now we are getting leftovers from bands such as Exodus and other others in the in the genre. It is as if the band is trying so hard, you know, to bring the vibe back, to bring the true meaning of trash metal and you know all that stuff. But it's kind of failing. It's not as if this album is bad, you know. It's more like it's quite mediocre when it comes to, you know, all the riffs and, you know, just the overall thing what we have here. So meanwhile, it's a good accomplishment, you know, being a, this kind of a retro album as, an, as a metal album, uh, as an album that is supposed to, you know, knock you to the head like it was to go good old times. It's not doing so well. So there's not much I can complain about the album 
because I don't want to sound too negative about it. It's not like it's annoying or it's stupid or it's boring as hell, but it's it is just, you know, like lacking so much those good songs. It is just everything is like almost within your grasp. Like I, I almost like this one. I almost like that one. I almost feel like I should be liking this album, but I am not. I am totally comfortable listening to it, but it's not like I am enjoying it. It's just like, hmm, should I play Slayer, Metallica, Exodus or any other big names, you know, from the classic era, kind of like golden era of thrash metal. And I would never ever pick this album among any of those. So, unless you're a really hardcore thrash metal fan and you need to own basically everything within the genre, then I think Hex is a pass. But, like I said, it never hurts too much to, you know, give it a shot on your favorite streaming services or a local, a local record store selling true metal albums. So, Wrath of the Reaper, not getting thumb up, not getting one down, just too much gray area mass here. Anyway, give it a go if you feel this is your genre. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe or add or comment if you liked or didn't like the video. We always like the negative feedback. That is the best we can get. Anyway, thank you for watching and be back later for some other review stuff. Be metal.